What's poppin' Aquadians? I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon and this bitch. Join me as I read you your lives, baby. Thank you to everyone who's liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. You already know I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfucking Aquariuses. Yes, I do, baby. And if you need to get a personal reading from me, make sure that you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, laurelsmoon.com, for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So, Spirit, you are welcome into this Aquarian reading. You must sage the cars for all of my Aquarian gods. Let's see what's going down. For October, for your love and your money, we're going to take a look at your career, your finances, what comes out, okay? And then we're going to see what's going on with your motherfucking love life. So, Eddie's, let's see what's... Eddie's, Aquarius, let's see what's going down. We got healer so far. You have a spiritual gift of healing and desire to share with others. A few people have gotten this card. So a lot of you guys are sharing your inspiration, sharing your growth and your spiritual gifts with others. Now, crystals, your connection to crystals and gemstones is a channeling for your healing energy. So some of you guys might be dealing with charms, jewels, crystals, gems. Um, this could be stones as well, too. But it's going to help a lot of people with their healing energy. So you guys could be using a lot of conductors or things that are helping you conduct Real ass energy. Okay. So, Aquarians, you got yoga. Your life is enhanced by yoga, stretching, and exercising. So, some of you Aquarians, y'all need to get y'all stretch on. Okay. But you have strength here. Everything you've experienced in your life has made you strong and courageous. So, a lot of you guys are taking on some strengths, characteristics. That are helping you build your businesses up. For some of you guys, this could be traveling. Your life's purpose involves traveling. So some of you Aquarius could be traveling to and fro. Different business places. Okay, different places to find as well. For your comfort when it comes down to your profession. Okay, so some of you guys are definitely traveling out. Making trips, flying. So, let's see what's going down, Aquarians. And your... In your love life, baby. And in your money. But first, we're going to find out what's going down in your finances. We're going to get a quick spread for my Aquarians for October. So here we go, Aquarius. Your finances coming up. Very first card is the Ten of up. So a lot of people have been getting this. It's going to be all about family. It's going to be all about your happiness, emotional happiness. Okay. With the 10 of cups, it can include, in, indicate rain, rainbows and happiness and good times and bringing in a family unit. Okay. So some of you guys definitely in your finances, this could be taking care of people. This could be counselors. This could be helping people as well when it comes down to their family or counseling. This could be yourself as well. You have the seven of cups here in reverse. So I feel like a lot of you guys are making final decisions when it comes down to your emotion and your finances. Some of you guys are coming out of a lot of illusions as well with the seven of cups here. So I feel there's a lot of misty energy that's clearing away from you, Aquarians. You're getting ready to make some real decisions. Some of you guys are visualizers. And I feel like there's a lot of that mystified energy that's coming uh, out. Some of you guys are going to see a direction that's very clear. Now, you have the Queen of Wands here. So I feel like a lot of you guys are getting to the action. The Queen of Wands is all about action. This could be a witchy energy as well. Aquarians, you guys already know. So I feel like some of you guys could be selling some things here. Or there could be somebody who's selling themselves when it comes down to products as well. But with the Queen of Wands here, I feel like a lot of you guys know what actions you need to take. Okay, so give me two more for my Aquarians and their finances, and then we'll check on that love, baby. So Nine of Pentacles here coming out. I feel, you know, some of you guys are getting to the money. This could be things that are moving. It could be a slow move as well, too, with the Nine of Pentacles. Not necessarily slow, but taking your time, doing things with precaution. I feel some of you guys could be movers or there could be somebody who's traveling 
and moving here, okay? This could be physical movement. This could be picking up boxes, things of that nature. But I feel Aries. Uh, why do I keep saying Aries? You guys must be dealing with an Aries or you could be dealing with a Capricorn. But I feel like um, Aquarians. Some of you guys definitely have some finances that are coming towards you. Now, there could be some communication that you're expecting or waiting on or some truth with this Ace of Swords. But I feel like some of you guys are communicating, going back and forth. This could be emails, okay? I also see text messages, things of that nature with the Ace of Swords here. So a lot of communicating. Now, with the birds, this could be a message as well. But like I said, some of you guys could be dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries also. This could be just yourself or somebody who's helping or willing to come to that aid. So give me one more for my Aquarians. These cars is over here getting stuck and stiff, honey. So I'm getting that there could be some sort of ending for some of you guys that starts a new phase. Okay. So there could be some things that are ending. This could be in your finances. This could be in your career where you're ending a phase and going into a new one. You also have the queen of pentacles here. So I feel like there could be a third party situation. Some of you guys might be juggling. Some of you guys might be messaging other people. But I feel like you're going to be obtaining the coin. I see a lot of gold here. I see a lot of metals as well that some of you guys will be uh, obtaining. But I'm definitely picking up. You guys are going to be on top of your game. When it comes down to the production and the productivity of what's happening, I feel like there's a lot of things that are getting ready to set towards you, okay, that you're initiating here. So a lot of good things coming to you. I feel there could be some actions that might be happening now. Just be careful with that 10 of swords. There could be something coming to an end or somebody is showing you where they're not really ready for certain things, okay? So, be aware of that. Let's take a look at this love because I've been rushing to get to this shit and I've been calling y'all Aries. <laughs> so, here we go. Past life relationship. You've known each other before. So, this could be a time where you're understanding your partner. You're seeing what they needed to see, okay? Or you needed to see what they needed to see. But this also could be somebody that you've met before in your past lifetime. Some sort of familiarity is what I'm getting with this past life relationship. Yes, you have known each other before. So you got wedding here as well. This situation involves a marriage. For some of you guys, there could be a wedding. There could be a proposal. There could be someone who's married around you or there is a marriage that's being talked about, okay? We also have flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others, okay? So... Either you need to be flirting, your partner needs to be flirting, one of the two. You also have you deserve love. So some of you guys know that you need to get the messages out there of how you deserve love. Now, there could be some differences as well in your religion or just what you believe in in your spirituality with this religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual past. So some of you guys might have cultural uh, differences or changes that are around you with you and your partner or some of you guys could be from a foreign place or you could be dealing with a foreigner or somebody who's exotic but it's saying to keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations so let's jump into this shit i did just see that um pay attention to the red flag so some of you guys need to pay attention to whatever is um being shown okay you know, when you get red flags, it's some things you need to see. So let's see what's going down. Aquarians. In love. <clears throat> Very first card we have here is the Ace of Swords. So usually I really don't read reversals. Just depends on the surrounding cards. But I do see with the Ace of of swords here once again this is a lot of communication or communicating for a lot of you guys you could be needing to communicate with your partner or your partner needs to talk with you okay but definitely a lot of reaching out here with this ace of swords okay in october world energy here some of you guys could be dealing with uh, a cycle that's coming to an end or something that might be coming to a close with that world energy but i feel a lot of you guys see that there are some accomplishments coming through aquarians in love this could be another fixed energy also gemini libra aquarius that you might be dealing with 
I'm also seeing um, Scorpio. So here we go. Very first card is the judgment energy. So I feel between you and your partner, it might be a lot of criticism that you guys might be putting in between each other. But there is something you're being called to see with this judgment energy between you and your partner, or this could be others. Some of you guys might be dealing, dealing with or juggling two different energies or two different people with the two of pentacles. You might be on the fence, but I feel like some of you guys might get this phone call or you might see some things of two different energies that might be an indication of some truth, okay? But eight of pentacles here, so there's a lot of work being put into a relationship or there's a lot of things that you're going to be seeing mixing and mastering in your love life okay so this could be virgo taurus capricorn you're dealing with i'm also seeing gemini libra aquarius this could be torn as well i have the knight of cups and the page of swords here so i do get that there could be somebody who's spying might be some very impulsive behavior but I also feel like somebody's doing some research on you or you could be doing some research on someone. But I really feel like this is them doing research on you with this page of swords here. Also could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio that's coming your direction. This could be something about uh, children or birthing children or a cycle that's being released here with this empress and also the world. So I'm getting that somebody's definitely spying on you, Aquarians. This could be a Gemini. I'm also seeing with the Ten of Pentacles, there is some sort of family setting that's um, either not coming together or there's something long-term wise coming together for you, Aquarians. This could be somebody who's having to move or things have definitely been moving for your energy, for your life's purpose. I do feel like financial stability is going to be here in love, but also real partnerships making choices, okay? You have the star energy at the bottom of the deck. This is you, Aquarians. So you're seeing where you need to make some changes, where you're healing, okay? I also feel like some of you guys are going to a more calmer time as well, especially with the Ten of Pentacles. There could be something family-wise you feel in choices and in partnership you're healing towards, okay? But I do get that there could be a Capricorn, also Virgo Taurus, okay? But I'm definitely picking up that there could be a lot of temptation that's around you that you're going to have to choose from. It could be like playing Russian roulette and figuring out why you have to make these decisions and choices. But I feel like it's going to be in your path with the Wheel of Fortune here. Okay, so let's get an Oracle card for my Aquarians for October 2020. We have peace. So some of you Aquarians are going to be at peace. This is you coming to a reflection of what is at peace in your life, okay? So this is a humble card is what I'm seeing here. A lot of a lot of decisions. Some of you guys are at peace. Somebody can't break that can't break that mold, okay? Now you got co-create. So like I said, there might be someone moving in or someone who's trying to um, make things work or make a situation work together okay so co-create here and then we also have imagine so some of you guys have a lot of things that you're needing to visualize in your imagination or your in your image of what you're seeing you're gonna see things are at peace aquarians and i love this shit okay yeah you got breathe here so just take your fucking time because i feel october you're gonna be at peace okay either in a relationship or just all together within yourself so, Aquarians, while you're here, make sure you hit that like button. And I will see you in the next motherfucking video. Peace.